Hello everyone, welcome back to the Sleepless Ninja. I have a very exciting application to show you today. It is called Easy PDF Reader. This is a fantastic application. It enables you to annotate and draw on directly on the PDFs that you are viewing, um, highlight um, your PDFs, and uh, also view them in full screen. And the, all, all of the text to speech, all of these features, you know, make make a very very versatile app that can be used with so many um, things and can be used in so many ways um, than you would normally think with a just a typical PDF reading app. So let's open it up and uh, begin. It's uh, only 99 sets too. Uh, this is by far one of the most fantastic PDF apps that I've come across, and for only 99 cents, uh, you, you can't go wrong but let, let's show you why so first we're gonna we're gonna take a look at an actual PDF document so as you can see it loads the PDF pretty fa pretty fast and um, let's let's go because you know normally I would say that you'd be viewing this in portrait mode so let's let's switch over to portrait mode and I will refocus. And you can see it's standard, full screen. You can swipe to move over, and the transitions and loading's pretty great. This is not the most, uh, the largest PDF, but it, it is pretty smooth. You can zoom in. Everything's nice and sharp and clear. But uh, let me let me just zoom in a little closer because this is this is where the fun begins so and a little bit closer just trying to get so one of the things is is highlighting of course so you just click and then drag to what you want to highlight and you can do a number of things you can highlight it creates a separate a separate file by the way, so it, you can have the original and then it will create a separate one with your annotations to it. Um, you can strike through. You can create a sticky note. And then you can see the little sticky note there. Sorry about the the angle, and you can open it up if you want to re-edit it. So overall, very 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 cool. As you can see, you're able to highlight, you're able to strike out, you're able to put those sticky notes. Um, you can copy, send, or we can even do something called freehand and draw directly on the PDF so it's it, it really is and then you can see it comes up with a little menu where you can undo your your, your drawing or accept it so it really comes up with a really nice way to edit your PDFs and view them and really now you have the PDF reader that you have been waiting for this, this does everything that I would normally want to do on a paper PDF um, the you know the only drawback of course the stylus um, interaction isn't as precise for writing down directly but you know what um, it's the best that you're gonna get on the zoom and it's still pretty fantastic so you don't have the, the precision of your pencil and paper but for the most part you have a very solid application for annotating your PDFs going through documents highlighting striking out correcting everything that you want it's in this application it's 99 cents but let's let's take it one one step further because there is something else that's actually really really cool about this application I'm just gonna go back and we're gonna go into our landscape. So one of the things um, besides 
annotating PDFs, um, which is a, a huge feature and a reason to want a tablet, I think, because it just reduces all the paper that you're carrying around with you and provides an easy thing to, to just review and have a digital um, version of everything that you're, you're, you're um, going over. Um, the other great thing is giving presentations or listening to presentations and being able to write on the you know the slides and uh, a lot like you know the, ta the this tablet um, presentations that you see um, with the windows but you know can't do that can you well this pr provides a solution it's not perfect but it makes it available and I, and, I, and I've been liking it heavily so um, you actually can turn your PowerPoint presentation into a PDF. And so let's open up the PowerPoint um, that I have as a PDF to kind of first give you the overview. So you can see everything loaded up nice and it's in full screen. And um, you, for them, it fits almost exactly. Um, but uh, it's that's okay, and you can see. You can quickly switch by pressing that button between the slides to give the presentation. But the really cool thing about something like this is to be able to write or to highlight or to feed give feedback. So you can click here, you can do freehand. On your PowerPoint, you can you can draw diagrams. And you can really, you know, give these presentations with this kind of full screen um, PDF um, presentation. It's it's and it, and it and it works fairly well. You can see little things here and there that could be solved, but for the most part, it's golden. And I think this is just the aspect ratio of my slideshow. If I changed it to a more widescreen slideshow aspect ratio, this should this should low load full screen and render perfectly. And what I wanted to get you to is something like this. So you're in class and you are writing your notes or the teacher gives these wonderful um, slides that you take with you and then you can write down on top of them. Um, this, this happened a lot through my college career and now you can just bring your zoom and when he's doing the problem you can actually use your zoom and write so you can have this car and you can draw the acceleration at 20 meters a second square and you can draw the weight equals a thousand kilograms and you can draw your force equals mass times acceleration and do your calculation And it, it overall, you know, it, it, it's 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 a pretty uh, solid um, tool for using with that. It's it's you know, it's the only one that I found so far that can do this. So it, it opened up a lot of doors. Um, you can see if I ran out of space, I might run into problems here. Um, so if you're giving a presentation and you want to do something like this, maybe you want to create extra extra slides, or if you're um, doing and taking notes you might want to do have a, another application on the quick apps um, opened up probably I would say handwrite which I've reviewed in the past where you can create a picture and then save it and then do the next slide um, but you know this is this is very cool that you can actually you know go over the slides in this PDF viewer and uh, annotate on top of them and, and draw these diagrams and go along in class or present this way and then of course you know there's also the organic chemistry I had a lot of that where the teacher would be drawing the bonds and everything on the chart and um, to be able to uh, do this 
was uh, kind of cool. You can just push down, do freehand. And then there you go. And then if, you know, we, we could do the other structure too, if I remember. One, two, three. I won't draw all the H's, but you get the picture. So you can you 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 have this really really nice um, PDF application where you can now create these slides um, and uh, annotate on top of them and. Uh, just uh, just just for your uh, viewing viewing sake and to know how to save as a PDF, um, this is this of course is on the Mac, but it should it should apply on Windows too. All you want to do, let me turn up the brightness for you. File, save as PDF. And then for those who are interested in also the aspect ratio, if you go to themes, you can do slide size and you can uh, change. This one was in 16 by, by 10. Um, maybe I needed to do 16 by 9, but you can also um, perfectly figure out what it is by playing with it here. And then um, have a full screen slideshow so you don't you see I have that little overlap so that doesn't occur and it'll be better as far as presentation wise but overall a very solid PDF application that has many practical uses for the everyday user thank you very much everyone I uh, hope you enjoyed this if you found this useful please like and please subscribe if you're interested in daily video updates on applications tips even paid applications, and of course, viewer requests. Keep the requests coming. Have a great day.